All right, hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here, checking in uh, once again here on the Earthquake Live 3D stream, uh, where it looks like the latest earthquake, 6.7, still on the globe there uh, in the Turkey region, causing significant damage and uh, heard at least four fatalities within the area. Uh, looking at the population map on the last update video, uh, showed it was relatively close to uh, some densely populated areas. Uh, so no doubt uh, some major shaking being felt in that region and uh, some destructive damage being uh, being seen over in that area as well. Uh, six at six, since that 6.7, not seen a whole lot of earthquake activity pop up here on the globe, which is rather odd. Uh, normally we'll see some type of uh, something going on, uh, but I'm not for sure what is up with that. Uh, I did want to take a little bit closer look at the uh, area in the uh, location of that 6.7 that took place uh, this morning and uh, take a look at the uh, uh, geographical location of that uh, I'm gonna start implementing Google Earth into a lot of the update videos when it comes to uh, uh, showing the exact location of this specific earthquake wherever it may take place in this case the 6.7 here uh, in Turkey as you can see right there the epicenter itself not uh, within or at least not necessarily within a uh, uh, populated city area but if you were to back out that will definitely uh, show you otherwise that there is a uh, some no doubt uh, population over here to the southwest with uh, some towns off here called Mezra I believe it is not for sure the exact uh, uh, population on that town there it looks kind of looks like a little village and whatnot but uh, 6.7 at a relatively shallow depth can definitely create uh, uh, significant damage many many miles out away from the epicenter and that's what we're seeing in this case right here uh, specific plate boundaries are in this image here I kind of want to show you guys it's kind of a um, oh we can do that one first uh, this here is just historical seismic activity um, through 19, uh, 1900 through 2011, 2017 uh, shows it very active. I mean, there's significant plate boundaries all over Turkey area, and uh, the, we've seen some larger quakes in the area uh, near this 6.7 in Turkey that have taken place in the last century or so, a couple centuries. Uh, very significant magnitudes up to 7.5 are possible in that specific region where that 6.7 struck uh, earlier this morning and um let me see here zoom in over here a little bit just, there's just a lot folks i mean there's too many to even cover on here uh just significant amount of large quakes mostly confined if you take a look at it mostly confined to uh the northern part um, let's see here. Mostly confined to the northern part, at least on the uh, right east side of the country. I kind of want to go over just a few large quakes that have happened in that uh, country. It, like I say, it's very active in that region. Uh, they've seen upwards of uh, well, 7.5. Um, talking about hundreds of years ago but we're going to do the most recent uh quakes here 7.2 to 7.5 magnitude uh back in 1930 uh, there was a 7.8 that happened back in 1939 uh, another 7.5 1943 uh, lots and lots of sixes and more sevens uh 7.5 back in 1976 in this area Another 7.6 um, back in 1999. Uh, and the last recorded earthquake within that area was the 2019 Istanbul earthquake uh, within the within that region back on September 26, 2019. Um, so major major activity uh, is possible in this region, like we've seen today, unfortunately. One second here. I wanted to pop up a uh, 
an image here. Not for sure why it's not letting me see, see it. Not that one. Is it this one? No, now I have two of those. Hold on a second here, folks. There we go. Not for sure what happened there, but uh, I did kind of want to show the plate tectonics and boundaries over here uh, that are taking place. And uh, hold on a second here. There's a lot taking place out here. You can see kind of like a trisection of a uh, of uh, fold and thrust thrust faults over here to the south east um just a complex system of uh of different faults folks in this area a lot of it uh taking place like i said towards the north on that north Anato An anatolian fault i suck at my pronunciations uh but that's where we're seeing the big quakes that do happen over over centuries and thousands of years ago um, with that you know, 7.5, 7.9 that I mentioned there hundreds of years ago. But uh, very active fault system out there. Very active part of the, of the globe for earthquake activity. So this uh, 6.7 is kind of just like a minor earthquake uh, when it comes to the potential that can take place out there in that part of the, uh, that part of the world. Uh, there was a good sized earthquake there that I've seen on the Tal to Al Webby quarter, the volcano in the Philippines. It looks like it's just getting off the screen right now, but a lot of activity still occurring in the uh, Philippine Islands region right now. Still no explosive eruption that they're kind of looking at uh, or expecting soon, but uh, it's still building up, I believe, and. Uh, who knows, it may be hours, maybe a couple more days before we see some type of uh, something. Whether it be uh, another burst, another small eruption, or something major. But uh, either way, it's it's coming. As I mentioned in the other, I think I mentioned in my last update video, the uh, large multitude of deep earthquakes out here over the past 24 hours down in Fiji, over here towards the Indonesia Islands area, and also down in South America, another deep earthquake down there, roughly close to 600 kilometers below the surface. This one, 5.5 in South America, at 560 kilometers down in the earth. So a lot of uh, movement going on all over the globe right now. And of course that largest quake on the globe, a 6.7. Um, I'm just really surprised that uh, there hasn't been any more earthquake activity following this quake. Uh, either that or the uh, USGS is not updating their information, but I will double check on that to ensure the latest quake information here on the globe. Anyway folks, I'm going to jump off here. I just wanted to give a little quick update uh, on that Turkey earthquake. Last I heard, uh, it was uh, up to four fatalities, but I've seen some of the damage out there, and it was pre pretty significant. Yeah, at least four dead. Um, and I'm sure many, many others uh, injured. A lot of building collapsing uh, near the town of Ma Maiden. Lots of, uh, lots of, well, let's see here. Yeah, it looks like it was felt in Syria, uh, Armenia. It was felt all over the place out there. Pretty significant, no doubt. Anyway, folks, I'm going to be out here on the live stream uh, just kind of monitoring, keeping an eye on things, waiting for uh, waiting for it to get uh, 
daylight over there in the Philippines to uh, see the uh, volcano on the live stream. And uh, we'll just kind of be out here keeping an eye on things right now. So other than that, uh, I'm going to jump off here and uh, hope everyone's having a good Friday. Have a safe weekend out there. And uh, we'll chat you guys here a little bit later.